Hey guys, just want to give a quick shout out to DoorDash and Sleep Number for sponsoring this episode. This is going to sound so obvious, but it feels like the internet's super, super negative right now. We had some actors on. Yes. It makes me wonder like who I would and wouldn't want to have on the on the Try Not To Laughs. Your idea of them is either going to be made even more great or just shattered completely. I'm going to cancel Karen's or just Karen videos. I get so much anxiety from watching those videos. I don't know if they're real or staged, but it doesn't matter. It hits me the same. So I recorded something yesterday and I think it perfectly sums up what our tour is going to be like. Now. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Abandon your God because it's time for the Smosh cast. Oh. <laughs> Abandon your God. Abandon, Abandon your, your God. God. Man, if they haven't seen that sketch, they're confused. That's okay. It's then okay. they can watch they can, it. They still can do it if I they think, want. I think that's my favorite every blank in a while. Yeah, wow. You, did you write it? But Damien's Damien's part but was Damien's, almost entirely improvised. Oh Thank my you. gosh, so much improv. It was Thank so you. freaking good, dude. I appreciate that. Loved it, dude. Thank you. Loved it. It was uh, every substitute ever for those that are in, in the dark. Yeah, it's Thank a solid you. one. I wonder if anybody listens to our podcast in the dark. Ooh, I uh, don't listen to our podcast at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I didn't know where I was going oh, with that when I started we're recording sentence. right oh. now. Mm. Well, welcome to another episode of the podcast. Uh oh, it's your main girl Courtney in the host seat with my two boys, Shania and Demina. That is a demeaning title for Sorry. me, whose name is Shane, <laughs> and me, Damien. House. House. Just kidding. We switched. Speaking of switched, um, I wore this shirt today. I planned to wear this shirt today. This shirt was all I was wearing today. And then you all of a sudden, out of left field, flipping nowhere, match me. Mm, it's a popular color. That's what we do. For those at home so we gotta listening do. but not watching, what, what are you guys wearing? We're wearing yellow long sleeves. I'm wearing a it's, yellow hoodie. It's a dandelion yellow. Dandelion yellow. Um, mine has Naruto on the front. It's an uh, ich Ichiraku ramen, I believe. Or Ichiran. Nice. Ichiraku. Pretty cool. Yeah. I love ramen, dude. Yeah, I love Naruto, is too. Naru is Naruto in your top 10 favorite animes? Or? Probably not, but I think I just really enjoyed it at a very specific time in my I life, like it. teenager. It was when mm -hmm. I was doing like distance learning, so I watched it all day and then sometimes did schoolwork. Nice. Um, it was the first manga I'd ever read. My really? sister used to read it on a website. Like It looked like the pages were scanned to, yep. to the computer, yep, and that's that. how we read it. I remember I was um, in the allergist's office where I used to get allergy shots and I saw an issue of Shonen Jump that had uh, Yu-Gi-Oh on the front. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And um, I didn't realize you're supposed to read right to left at first, but once I figured it out, it was awesome. And they, and they let me take it home. I must've been like 13. And I read the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff because I was into that at the time. And it was super dark. Like the people don't realize the manga is like totally different than the cartoon. So like Yu-Gi basically kills a person oh. in that episode through like a Trixie like saw style Yugi game. Yu-Gi smokes crack. Smokes crack and kills a man. Um, so I remember I like, in those manga books, it would remind you to go that way. Yeah, go this way. Yeah. So it was like, I don't know, it was dope. And so in that same issue, I ended up being uh, introduced to Shaman King, Naruto, One Piece. Um, One Piece. I, I don't know if Dragon Ball Z was in it at the time. It might have been. I was um, into the cartoons probably more mm, so. but I only watched Dragon Ball Z. I didn't read any mangas. I never... I never I don't think I really have read a manga. Uh, I read Akira, I like Ooh, but, that's, but cool. that's that's a little it's a little different, you know, because mm -hmm. that's a that's a more compact series. Um, yeah, and uh, you know it's older. Yeah. Um, but but watching, I watched a ton of Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid. Hell yeah, love that. And that was like it was like a sports event. Yeah. Between me and my friends, because be like, did you watch the Frieza fight? <laughs> I was always left out of that. Maybe that's why I like Dragon Ball Z so much now, because I never could as a kid. Because on Thursday afternoons, when it came on, that's when I went to karate. Uh -huh. um, oh, you were doing well, you actual were Dragon it, Ball. Yeah. yeah, I was just living it like, yeah, but you like real training. So even now, I just like Dragon Ball Z stuff, but I still don't watch it. Mm -hmm. I just like the idea. It's a of fun. It. It's a fun just thing. Yeah. My sister. One of my older sisters, she was like the huge nerd of the family. She had like a full body cardboard cutout of Legolas. Oh, cool! In a room, and like whenever, she, whatever my family was watching, I'll just kind of sit down and watch whatever mm -hmm. they're watching. So a lot of it was One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, a lot of Dragon Ball. Um, I was sexually awakened by one of the characters in Dragon Ball Z. She's like blonde. Bulma. Android 17, huh? Oh, and or Android, yeah, uh, Android 18. I knew you literally nailed yeah. it. Yeah. The second you said sexually awakened, I was like. 
I got this. She got really straight. I forget her name, but the straight blonde hair. Straight and blonde hair. She got the jean jacket, Mary's Krillin. Yeah, and yeah. then there was like one episode where she had to wash her clothes, and the only thing available to wear was like a Playboy bunny bodice thing. Sounds Wait. like Dragon Ball Z. But maybe yeah. that was Bulma. No, no, no. That I think that is Android because okay. like her was personality blonde. was super like stoic, right. so it was funny to put her in that. Mm-hmm. Got it. And also very Dragon Ball Z esque. Got it. Hashtag yeah. Master Roshi is canceled. <laughs> yeah, Master oh, Roshi is a bummer. He's canceled hardcore. Oh my gosh. Yep. He does not does not work nope. in the year mm. 2020. Nope. How are you guys' tummies feeling after that lunch? I'm feeling oh, okay. We, spicy yeah, rumbler. We ate a ton of McDonald's before yeah. this. Uh, it's a busy day, so we had to make it quick. Yeah. Get some Mickey D's. I'm like it, breathing heavily from it still. <laughs> it's it's the kind of thing where like I know for a fact no shade at McDonald's, but just for the way my specific body works and the type of food I'm used to, it will make me mm-hmm. feel bad. When you guys were like, we're getting McDonald's, we only have time for that. Or do you want anything? I literally had to weigh like, do I want to wait like six hours to eat or do I want to have a tummy ache but be full? <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, I rarely ever eat fast food, so mm-hmm. it's definitely like... A plunge out of my normal normal stuff. Hmm. Plunge like toilet, which yeah. you will soon visit. Oh, already dead. Mm. It's handled. Yep. I, it, she, she happened. Um. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm. I'm feeling okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think. I think maybe in a way it feels good because I feel like my system's very like my system moves at a constant pace. When mm. I eat McDonald's, I get to finally have things stop for a minute. Oh yeah, and it's wow. nice. It's nice to have you know just everything all you know the oh it makes you stop. Everything stops. For I was a bit. gonna say I was like, what does your stomach lining have abs? So like even <laughs> that you can freaking no. I don't think it's that. It's just that it's like my body's like what what, what is this? Mm. Hey, can like, we call hold up, hold up. call in the supervisor? <laughs> yeah. We need to figure out what the hey, hey Mark what is this? This. It's like I don't know what that is. I, I've n- I haven't seen that. In- Wait, is this is like this the tales of old? <laughs> the, is this rubber French fries? <laughs> so we've analyzed it. One of these cows is over a hundred years old, and the other brand new. Yet it's all part of the same, <laughs> same patty. Same burger. Same uh-huh. burger. There's over sixteen thousand cows in a single patty. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's I th- that's honestly nice. Sometimes, literally, when I drink soda or whatever, it, it like. It helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I usually know. try and order the McDonald's Sprite is like, it hit different, you mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm. But I didn't get it this time, so my tummy was like, oh. It's so good when you're a kid because when you're a little kid, it just doesn't affect mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Your body's just crazy. You're or when you're a kid, you just, you hurt all the time anyway. Yep. That could be it. <laughs> it could be, you don't know <laughs> constant what normal pain. feels like, yeah. yeah. Children are in constant pain, right? <laughs> I will, yeah. <laughs> by the way, today's episode is brought to you by Burger King. Yeah, uh, shout out to thanks to Burger King. Burger Use King. Code Burger King, Burger King slash Smosh. It's not actually. Sorry. Yeah. I thought uh, it was an ad read. That's Kevin, by the way. Uh, everyone this, say hi to Kevin. This pod brought to you by Burger King. Burger King. Get back to work, peasant. <laughs> <laughs> Bur- welcome to Burger Surf. <laughs> we're um, burger fiefdom. I think also what I'm feeling is like we're really getting into preparing for tour. I know you guys mm. talked about that last week. So you got that tummy anxiety? I do. My anxiety has been like, guess what? I exist like mm. all the time lately and it's kind of a bummer. But um, I, I think the tour stuff, it's like excitement and nervousness because like – I have a habit of being like when something, when a lot of stuff is happening in mm-hmm, a day or mm-hmm. in a week, it's like there's a lot of opportunities for things to go wrong. So mm-hmm. brace yourself. Yeah, and that's what I feel. I'm I'm actually excited for things to go wrong during a show because that's <sighs> when the funniest stuff. Ladies is and gentlemen, happen. the two opposite sides. Yeah, yeah no. Oh man, yeah. that stuff. That's so so funny. Oh, I I don't know, Courtney. I think um. I think anxiety is obviously like a lifelong thing and I've I've got some years on you age wise, but I've been dealing with anxiety my whole life as well. I've noticed like a market improvement, I think, in in how you deal with things with or me? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. You just seem oh, to definitely. you just seem to go roll with the punches a little bit more. So like this is a new experience. You can't ex- expect yourself to be perfect with it right off yeah. the bat, but like you're kicking butt. That's the thing, though. And I very, that's very sweet. And yeah. I I feel like I I know what you mean. Like I've definitely gotten better about like, I think I have like a, what is the word? Anticipatory anxiety. Totally. I have a huge fear of the unknown of like, wh- I don't know what's going to happen. This is a mm. new experience. I don't know how to mentally prepare for something I've never done before. Mm-hmm. Like, if we're going to Disneyland, like that's a big day of a lot of things. I'm like, oh, I got to, men- I kind of need to mentally prepare for like mm-hmm. all the energy and stuff. But like, this is something I've never done. I've done live shows. We did Smosh Live. Mm-hmm. I did school plays and stuff. We had like six weeks of rehearsals for that stuff. So right. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, 
I think excited. once then we hop into because we are, you know, I think we talked about this last cast. We're just now sort of starting rehearsals. We've been writing and like planning things out for a long time, but now we're like getting it up on its feet. So I think once we're like more into that, that's when you'll have a concrete experience to attach your anxiety to, and you'll say, ah, oh, maybe it's not so bad. Ah, yeah. oh, it's okay. What if there was like a, a YouTube tour critic that would like specifically go to YouTubers' tours and just critique their performances and their shows what do you think they'd be like i think they'd be a little something like this <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> their t-shirts were mildly adequate i wish we'd get like a drew gooden breakdown because when drew gooden went to the jake paul show oh, yeah i haven't oh. seen he that broke video. it all down it's so wow. great it's from a while ago but I love that. is that when he was like you're a bully is that why you did that? Uh, or kind or is that Cody Coat? <clears throat> that's that, Cody Coat. Yeah, this is Drew Gooden literally went and re- like filmed a lot of yeah. the show and like Ooh. and uh, I need to I need to see that video. But tell me about it. It's really great. It's really funny. Does he go? Does he? Roast he went. Him? He went through. Yeah, like did he Jake just, call him a bully? <laughs> did, did what? Did Jake call Drew a bully? No, no, not at all. Wow. Uh, mm. I don't think Jake was aware of because this was still like Jake a, wasn't entirely sure where he was. Jay, this, was <laughs> this was like this was like over a year ago, and this was in Florida. Like Drew wow. went to his show in wow. Florida. Wow, and a Jake Paul show in Florida. That sounds that like when, an it was when he was, Yeah, I mean Jake Paul's not the same as what he was then, but this was when he was at the height. Wow, it's crazy. Wow. Um, but yeah, we'll get something like that. Someone will break it down and just absolutely ruin Rip our us lives. Apart. Yeah, I low key have been just like. Not wanting it, but kind of just waiting for someone to be like, hey, what have these people been doing? And like really dissecting our content. Like no mm. YouTuber seems to come at there's us. There's not at really. All well, like that's that. because we're not doing anything, you know, there's nothing crazy about what we're doing doing like the yeah. people that b- break down are the people who are like are very opinionated online or like mm-hmm. doing stuff that's really fake our stuff is we're just doing genuine and we're just like playing games yeah. and having fun like what can you really pick apart about it we're True. in a great position with that too because we do still end up trending like people do know who smosh is but we're not like poking anybody's buttons we're not like making f- i mean if we make fun of people we do it politely <laughs> it's out of like love not hate usually because mm-hmm. that's the best way to parody someone so like we're not starting beef we don't have like like, here's the T on Smosh. So, like, right. it wouldn't really make sense. Someone would, like, legit have to go really out of their way to be like, here's the thing about Smosh, you know? Mm. No it's... one's no one's picking apart Jack's films or, yeah. or Gus because, yeah. like, they're not really, you know, we're doing comedy. Like, no yeah. one's breaking down, like, comedy accounts, you know? It's, it's, it's more in the line of, like, you know, if you're going to be accusing someone of something or whatever, that's when mm-hmm. you're getting into that realm. Mm-hmm. We just don't. We don't do that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like Brianna Boho started as a Tana Mojo parody, Mm -hmm. like so strongly, but she's become her own thing now, which is kind of funny. And even when we're making fun of people, it's such a like, I don't know, we come at it from such a different angle. You know, we're not trying to be mean. We're trying to just make comedy out of a situation. And yeah, like it it seems like people for the most part take it really positively. Yeah. Like like, Tana Mojo is like one of the people that would just like, I don't don't know if she's seen it actually. I I know she's seen pictures of, of, like the costumes and stuff, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. she's the type that's like, oh my god, I love this. this is so yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, and if if you do something that's not like totally ripping someone apart, and you're mm-hmm. just playfully poking fun of them, and then they take it like, whoa, what are you doing? That's kind of on them. Mm-hmm. It's like you right. know, you're, I say like, if you're big enough to be parodied by like a like we're we're a comedy channel, we have to write comment uh, content that like maybe you haven't seen before, but is also relatable enough that mm-hmm. people are going to actually know about it. So if we're doing something on somebody then it means like congratulations you're big enough to be parody isn't that cool we're basically the simpsons i mean <laughs> no i mean we are the simpsons of youtube i won't say it but everybody else can everyone's, everyone's thinking but i'll please, be the dan castellaneta uh, kevin cu- uh, kevin cut the <laughs> um you know you know what uh i'll give my opinion though on what i think our tour is going to be like Ooh, here comes um, the tea. so i recorded something yesterday and i think it perfectly sums up what our tour is going to be like. So just mm. give give this a, give this a listen. Oh god. I'm scared. I know what's coming? I'm scared. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? So you guys How were out of the you. office yesterday, right. so I was just chilling oh my god. and I decided, you know, I was like, you know what? I've got some good oh. content that I can <laughs> Some good content, and get an air in your ass, dude. If you, the sad reality is, if you were to post that, it would still get more likes than anybody else's. <laughs> sh- I like, hate that. Yeah, hate that. Were like- <laughs> you just in the room? 
I hate that. I can tell you that was against our blue diaries. sofa. That was against our blue sofa. Uh, it's turquoise. I can't believe you're reading my diaries and farting oh, into your you've phone. You've never, never let out gas. I do it all the time. I'm saying, I'm saying <laughs> I could tell. Know. I did it while I was making direct eye contact with Finnerty like <laughs> mere moments ago. He's like, hey, let me talk to you about something real quick. And I was like, and then <laughs> he's just sort of like, you've like, definitely, yeah, man, we've been mid conversation. You've just been like, you've been like, yeah, so, uh, sorry, I just let out a massive fart while staring you in the eyes. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't do it like that. I say, like, yeah, man, it's pretty cool that you went to the uh, place the other day. Like, you have to give it its, its moment. This is going to be the second podcast in a row when we're talking about poops and farts. I don't want that for This us. is the Smosh cast. I, look, you know what? You know what? Tiny Meat Gang, they have had multiple episodes because they were talking about diarrhea attacks because mm. apparently there's just, like, a thing that's happening where people are taking buckets of... You know, and dumping it on people oh, in the yeah, streets. I heard about the it's one. like a new form of terrorism. Uh, yeah, I heard about the one on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, but it was that they called heat. it hot diarrhea. I don't want to hear that. that. Was tough. No, we're not going to talk about it. Don't worry. Go to Tiny Meat Gang to hear about hot buckets of that. Yeah. No, thank you. Hey, uh, by the way, speaking of uh, what, how tour is going to be like, I did get a tip uh, from somebody the other day about how to sleep on a tour bus. You sleep with your feet facing the front of the bus. Because apparently, if there's ever an issue that jolts you forward, oh. you like have your feet to brace oh, you, or like smart. maybe you break your legs or something. But it's better than breaking your skull. My knees come that's out my really eyes. Smart. Yes, that's true. That's really smart. That's smart, right? Oh, good to know. There you go. So thank you. Cool. I forget who, who that was. But yeah. Thank you. Y'all, I love sleep. I love to get it. Sometimes I don't get enough of it. I don't know if I'm just still just adjusting from jet lag, from being in Iceland, humble brag. I'm feeling like crap right now, and I bet I would feel a lot less crappy if I slept on a sleep number bed. You know, everybody prefers a different firmness. In fact, nine out of 10 couples prefer different mattress firmness. So the cool thing about the sleep number bed is you can have like one side be firm, one side be soft. So, you know, you guys can get whatever you want. You don't have to settle and get like a half soft bed. And they got individual fit technology only at a sleep number store. You can discover it comfort for you and your partner. And you can visually see your body's pressure points react to a sleep number 360 smart bed. So guys, discover proven quality sleep and save 50% on the 360 limited edition smart bed now during the ultimate sleep number event only at a sleep number store or sleepnumber.com slash cadence. Sleep well. I wonder how comfortable we'll be. Not at all. Not at like, all. Not at I'm, all. Not, I'm not do preparing you guys, for sleeping do you guys, Have you guys done a lot of road trips? I, I haven't sleep. slept on a moving car. I can sleep straight up anywhere, which is nice. I, I will, no joke y'all, I filmed a, a movie like way back in the day um, that was like a week of night shoots and literally like in between scenes I was like, uh, looks like there's a laundromat right there outside of where we're filming, I'm gonna hop in real quick and I just would like lay on the counter and like fall Whoa. asleep wow. in the, at like three in the morning in the middle of Atlanta, freezing cold, I'm oh just like, yep, this is where I sleep now, so. Wow. I'll be able to sleep on the bus for sure, but it, I don't think I'm, it's gonna be like the best sleep ever, no. you know. My dad, I, my family did road trips all the time. Really? Like flying was not a thing. Um, and we, my dad had like this. But your dad was a helicopterist. He was a hel- he, That wasn't until a few years ago, my boy. Oh. Um, but what he did have was a big red Suburban with three rows. Whoa. And what he would do is he'd put down the middle row and then the far back row is where we'd sit. And so it was like a big limo. Ooh. And we could either sleep on the floor. And then he also, this is how dated this is. Okay, mm. guys. He had the little square, like cube TV. Yeah. He'd wedge it between the driver's seat and the passenger seat. That's awesome. So, and then we'd put VHSs or, or plug in a DVD, portable DVD player, and we'd watch. We had, a, we had one of those, but we had a bunch of uh, those bungee cords. <laughs> so like we'd wrap it, it we'd strap it to the passenger yep. uh, seat and watch stuff. It's yeah, the smart. TV would perfectly fit in between, so we didn't have to wedge it in too much. I think one time we went over some rough train tracks and it fell down. We were Ooh. Like, ah, oh, that's tough. Matilda! <laughs> but it, it would looked, be fun. It took out your <laughs> Matilda! <sister>. Yeah. <laughs> Milo and Otis! We, we always... <laughs> aww. What a specific... That's a, It's like we're getting a double feature. We are back, followed by Milo and Otis. We're back at Dinosaur know? Story. <laughs> dinosaur Story. My dad. We always watched Matilda, and like there's so it's many good, movies that movie. my dad would only hear the movie and had never, like for years, had never seen like Matilda or or some other movie, mm. and. 
he finally watched Matilda like recently and it was so different from how it was in his head I've after listening be, to it. It's great. You've never First seen Matilda? All, it's Danny great. Vito. It's what I would love about like that generation of movies, especially ones aimed toward aimed toward kids, where like every bit of action had like an orchestration to it. So mm-hmm. I don't remember exactly how it goes, but if the kid was like, "Here, have a carrot," you would hear the like the music like, like that kind of almost early Harry Potter style too. Oh, yeah. So I'm just like, I wonder what imagery he saw in his head with. Yeah, that. I'm very curious. And, like the That's voices funny. of the characters, yeah. like the wife and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I love. Love road trips. I I love the the camaraderie that comes along with it. I uh, I'm very excited to like have summer parties with you guys. And should I bring movies? Yes. Should I bring Matilda? But also, I'm an introvert and will need me time. And so I'm going to make a little fortress out of my bed. Just like duct tape the outer edges of your bunk. I'm really yes. curious because we have we have at least seven people. I think there are only least... three bunks, and everybody else has to just sleep standing up like a bat. Oh. That's bats don't sleep standing up. Yeah, but they do if you flip them upside down. That's true. Wow. Shane, um, I'm actually interested in uh, you and I have roomed together a lot. Uh, oh yeah, in yeah. Small things. So I feel like I'm used to everything, but you, you're a little bit of a snorer. I am. I'm, I'm interested in seeing if uh, anybody hates that. Is it consistent? I feel. Like, oh, I'm sure they go. Oh no, I'm not like hates it, it, but I'm just like hate I. That. The problem is that you know I I live alone, so I don't I don't ever know like how consistent it is. I don't know the schedule of it. I don't know if uh, wh- how, what ways I can not snore. You know, you get one of those breathe right, right strips and you shove it way up your butt. Just <laughs> way up your butt, Shane. You know what? I never, when we were in Sacramento, I never heard snoring ever. Yeah, that's what's weird is sometimes people will be like, yeah, you weren't snoring at all. And then sometimes it's like, yeah, it was the loudest yeah. thing I've ever heard in my well, entire life. I hope it's okay that I mentioned that too. No, I that's fine. I, it's definitely that. true. It's not something I try to hide or I'm embarrassed about, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I grew up with snoring, like my dad snoring down the hall. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I'll probably just, my brain will be like, yep, I know what this is and I'll probably be able to keep sleeping. Hmm. I just I always listen to like waterfall or rain sounds when I sleep, so I'm just gonna bring mm. some good headphones and plop them on, and then if you uh, if I can hear the snoring through that, I'll probably just smother you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to the Smosh Tour. Uh, Shane is dead, dead. <laughs> and nobody knows how it happened. How did it happen? Uh, Speaking of which, not the smothering fart. Um, my smothering roommate, fart. My roommate, <laughs> smothering fart. My roommate <laughs> in college, um, we bunked our beds. Um, so that like we had more space in the room, which most people didn't do, but it had like the ability to do that. So we like used extra duct tape to like make sure it was safe. But the the mattresses were like super super thin and malleable. Ugh. So he sl- slept above me, and he would snore wicked hard. So I would literally like put my foot and yeah. like aim it toward the small of his back and just go. Boom! And like he would literally like boom, like arch his back, sit bolt upright, and then fall back, oh and then wouldn't God. he wouldn't wake up, but he would stop snoring. So I would literally kick him squat in the back every night. I used to snore when I was a kid, and my mom, my, not my mom, my sister would throw like a stuffed animal at me, and that was all it took. Yeah, so. I wonder. I, we don't know who else is snorers. I snore. I've started it a little depends. bit. It depends on my position. How do you know? Um, Because I've woken myself up a couple times recently. Not like full on from sleep, but like when I'm starting to drift off, I'll just have a moment of like, yeah, and then I'll hear this. that and I'll be like, what was that? Oh, that was me. See, I wouldn't know. I don't, sound doesn't wake me up really. Oh, you That's lucky That's crazy. Best. So, so when we've roomed together, I would have no idea if you ever did. I don't, but I'm a sleep toots. I, I think sleep I, toots wow. all the time. Wow. Like Come Audible? On. Oh, audible.com brought to you by Damien Haas's farts. <laughs> yes, no, that was a dumb joke. Yes. Well, we have a lot of people, like, because we have more people that aren't just, like, the cast that I'm, like, I'm curious. I don't know. If Are they going to be sleeping on the bus with us? I We're all on the bus. I'm like, not comfortable with that. I think, I don't know if there's going to be multiple or, like, a little motor. I don't know. We... Do we? Are we, we have on to tour? be? Is we, tour happening? We have a roof. <laughs> Let them sleep on the roof. <laughs> Just tie them. The em. roof of the bus. <laughs> I demand the nicest bed closest to the bathroom. Oh yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Everybody I'm who can't be, see my face, I'm being sarcastic. I call the bed furthest from the bathroom because Ian already called that. Screw did he really? him. I, I, I realistically, because I do snore, I should probably be as far away from, from everyone as I can. I don't. God, I don't want to be near the potty. Why not? Because. Certain people have expressed their habits around the toiletries, Damon. We've already talked about this last podcast. I know, and Ian was the only one who had an issue with it before, and even he bent and was like, Damon, you are correct. I'm sorry I was such a uh, bird. Um, I'm not trying to be a bird. I'm just going to open up. I'm just going to, you can just open the door and just shit out out on the highway. (laughs) 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 Tell you what. 
<laughs> I'm gonna fine. go to the bathroom whenever I feel like it. We just gotta have some poopery. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's so easy. It's just and it's use gonna it. be, This is my impression of midnight on the bus. God damn it, Shane. <laughs> I hate that it's two. I hate that it's two, dude. What happened there is you started it, there was not enough force, and your cheeks closed back up, and then you were like, no! And then you were like, here comes the second one. <laughs> like, get out of there. It's a get double it. jump. <laughs> it's literally a double jump. Boom, boop. I hate this. Boom, <laughs> boop. Oh, um. Anyways, I'm yeah. just nervous that I'm gonna have like time to like do my makeup and stuff. You I have I have no doubt by like the the shows we're all gonna be like, oh man, the shows are gonna be awesome. But the bus by the end of that week, I think we're all gonna hate each other. Oh. What if we start there? Perfect. And then it's it's a and it's one a of redemption. us surely dies. Oh. My dad's going to multiple shows. That's pretty That's cool. great. My family's coming to one of them. That's Is he so having great. his own meet and greet so I can finally no, meet him? No, you can. You've met my pop up. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. You called him Kurt. Yeah, good old Kurt. <laughs> I know it's Carlor. It's Car- Carlor Miller. Carlor Miller. That's fine. Uh, also, some crazy stuff that's gonna be happening. What? Uh, Tell we us. just, we just, you know, we've been in that one room for a year now. We're we're getting kicked out. Well, not oh, really yeah. kicked out. No, but, definitely say kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're gonna be out with everybody, and we're gonna have desks, our own little desks out in the in the what do we call that area? Is it, it's it's writers bullpen. island. The bullpen. bullpen. Well, we are oh, the, the we bullpen. are the writers island within the bullpen. Yeah, mm. it's called the bullpen. It's this big. It, you know, it's kind of almost looks like us. That's just what aircraft they call. hanger or like like I don't know like it's, it's sort of like it's a shaped. high ceiling warehouse situation. Yeah, but it's pretty and like skylights. It's, it's a very it's cool. I mean, you well guys have decorated. seen it in stories yeah. and everything. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it's, I feel like we bullpen is just what you define as like the cubicle area. You know what? I was I think the biggest opponent to this happening, and even I've sort of come around, and I'm kind of stoked about it. I'm excited That's to have a desk. Nice. Yeah. I'm excited to have a desk because we have that like weird little one in the cast room right now that we share. But even that isn't the most, you know, the chairs look nice, but it's not the most comfortable. Yeah. It doesn't uh, feel like it's your space. And yeah. ours are standing desks. They can they can be standing. Yes, I will be standing all the time. Yeah. I'm excited for me to like my my space is where my mess is and I don't have to worry about anybody else's mess in yes. my space. Anybody exactly. else's mess. Nobody like else's people who mess. People leave mess. Diet Cokes. Yeah. What? Mm. That one wasn't, that one wasn't mine that and you're referring to one. I know. I never leave Diet Cokes. Uh oh. I might, I, should I not have called it whoa, out? No. Uh-oh. Are we doing call outs? Are we That's calling fine. each other out for this past year Do now it. that it's no, over? No, no, no. We all left messes. I, and like, we. It, that I think that's what's tough about the room is it, what's that face day? I'm just like, hey, if we're calling out, then we'll call let's, out. But let's, let's do. Let's keep but going. But it's like it's a big room that we when we have shoe weeks and stuff, it's just everyone in there bringing that's in true. their stuff. We have mm-hmm. meals in there. The irony cups. is that the three of us probably made the least mess because people true. would come for one day and leave all the mess. I would yeah. literally, <laughs> I would literally have like my computer set up at that mini desk and be like, all right, this like two by two foot area is my space where I'm gonna get my work done. I would leave for three minutes and then someone else would show up and there'd be a pile of shirts on top of the computer. Mm-hmm. I'd be like that that was the one spot you chose that you needed that one spot where my computer there's mm-hmm. there's hangers there's on the wall you could do <sighs> yeah. yeah no that's not how we do it here no nope. even I like I have a hard time keeping all my stuff together like you guys should see my room on shoot weeks I refuse it's it's a disaster because I'm like what do I what will I wear and I'm like I don't know and mm. then my makeup's all over one place and I'm like mm. when, I, when I feel frazzled you see it in my space so I'm just I'm excited that like it's my responsibility and like I w- won't be a bother to anybody else mm-hmm. as well I'm, I'm excited too because I get to like personalize my space a little bit like the room is fun but it doesn't have any of our specific personalities but now that I have a desk I can put like a little Funko Pop there or something. Oh. I can, yeah, exactly. You know, I can have a fondue pop. You can have a, yeah, like, or something else. Um, uh huh, like a chocolate fountain. <laughs> like a, yeah, like a little else. tiny cannon that I'll shoot at your desks. No, no. Yeah, or like something else. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, that was, that was a, quite a year, though, in that room. It was fun. It was cool. Yeah, I think it's crazy how much it's changed since we started. Mm-hmm. I have so many videos in my phone from like when it was just like just that table and y'all acting cray cray. Yeah, we were pretty cray cray back we were pretty in the day. Cray-cray back we were pretty cray cray back in the day. We were pretty crazy. Gone back through a lot of day. rooms. Yeah. Uh, the cast never that can really stay first, in the place. That first defy room yeah. in that corner. 
that was like just barely not close enough to a pokey stop and then <laughs> yeah. and then we got moved to the other side of that office Which where is... it was there was a pokey stop <laughs> and that also was the whole had, thing uh, actually was, you would have to come into the smosh games room to do the pokey stop that was one of them know. yeah so, uh, <clears throat> um, smosh games uh, shout out to those rooms room. were those rooms were sweet they were huge but they were the messiest the like stuff yeah. would just show up yeah people would just like dump things there and we were like yeah. okay yeah. And, yeah. Then, oh. and then also your charger stole and you're like okay oh yeah your charger would get stolen every day yeah that was i think that's what's cool is we it doesn't seem as much like that no. anymore mm. that that old office we'd see an accident every other month on that street yeah that was a dangerous street that corner was dangerous it was literally corner. like no matter what day it was of the week or no matter what time you would just guarantee at one point you would hear a skirt and then you'd yeah. wait for the oh Oh, no impact that time. All right, they got okay. They're okay. Yeah. They're okay. And there was but, always drama. Like there was a hit and run and there was a there was one a where there was like stuff. a bunch of kids were started to run away oh, from their yeah, car and, but there was a cop right behind their car Yo, and so they yeah. all got caught. It like, was crazy. It was really crazy. Some, a bunch insane, of hit and runs. Insane. Yeah, it was a it was a crazy road. Mm-hmm. Um it's much more chill. Yeah. Here in yeah. this in this building. It's um, a little more incognito. Yeah. Our website doesn't have our address advertised on it. Thank God. Like the previous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just so, it's just better. Safety first. <laughs> yeah. Safety but I'm excited. First. I'm excited to be out in the bullpen because I I, have, I walk around the bullpen a lot anyways. <laughs> uh I like bigger spaces. Mm-hmm. Um I don't like being in a small room. I enjoy both. I like I I appreciate both because we could go out there and be social and like there's lots of I'm using camaraderie that word a lot today. Mm-hmm. But uh but then you could go in that room and it's just kind of quiet and mm-hmm. I can be in there with myself but like I'm I'm excited to I feel like I'm going to be more productive and like focusing on my For sure stuff. because we're going to yeah. have a professional space cuz our room that we've been in for this past year is designed it looks more like a lounge space there's a couch there's mm-hmm. like a coffee table and then like this like it's not a desk it's a it's a it's table a with table. like it's whatever a conference but table. it's designed you know when I'm sitting on a couch I'm not like I think yeah. for me psychologically, I'm not thinking like, oh, I'm gonna get work done. I'm mm-hmm. thinking like, oh, I'm loud, like I'm sitting down on a couch with friends. Mm-hmm. Whereas yeah. I'm gonna have a desk. Like when I'm here, I'm doing work, and I'll leave it, and I, you know. I feel like there are gonna be benefits and drawbacks though. And again, I'm I am excited for this now, so I'm more leaning toward the benefits. But like, yeah, we're gonna be productive, getting scripts done and stuff like that. But I think we lose out a little bit of like, you know, it was a room where it was just us three, and we would talk and joke all the time, get our work done, yeah. But like, it'd be like, oh, dude, that could be a TikTok. Oh, we've got to turn this. Can I get a story real quick? If we're out in the bullpen with everybody, there can be mm. some talking, but we're not going to be able to do the thing of like, let me show you this video on full volume now. And let me, oh, yeah. dude, did you hear about that? Like we, people have like almost sassily in a way before like shut our door to be like, you got to yeah. stay quiet. So now we're out there with them. We got, have yeah. to be quiet. I think, uh, yeah, the, it was the foxhole, I feel like, because it would just be us three. Mm-hmm. And like sometimes that was all it was for an entire day. It's gotten different now. Like Ian hangs out with us more and he's not like, hold up in his office as mm-hmm. much yeah i'm i'm excited uh i had i actually bought my own headphones for my computer already because nice. i'm not I need to get some but the, the one thing that bothers me though is when we give notes on like pit videos and stuff i like to hear it from the laptop speakers because then you can hear yep. the real levels of the music versus the voices well it's not like so, we can't go out into like a outdoor area or into that outside? room if it's not busy i go outside f- to check to notes on a, but then there's like all this wild sound that, that you're like yeah. competing with to hear this video well, then go back like, into the old cast room if it's no I one's guess, using it and if some no if no one's using it like because I sometimes I'll I'll notice even on videos that are released and it's no one's fault because literally the editing headphones are like so nice that mm-hmm. the music and the, the, the audio like from people talking, it sounds good different. to them. Yeah. And then when it goes into a different device, it, it sounds it sounds different. I run into that a lot, when, yeah. especially with games videos. And it's, and it's like literally like it that's because of. To their ears, mm-hmm. it sounds good. Yeah. But then when it goes to like my phone or the laptop, it's like, oh, just a little too loud. So I like to keep an eye on out for that, but we'll see. I think it should be fine. Yeah. We'll be okay. We'll, we'll figure we'll, it we'll out. We'll be fine. I just I just wanted to talk about the benefits and drawbacks. I still think there will be more benefits. I am very excited to have a desk. I need to be able, like even, like you said, this lounge area has a sofa where y'all sit every day, but I post up at the desk and have my back to you because I still need that kind of like mm-hmm. structure to it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. For those listening, what's your favorite kind of desk? Mine is nin. I love desks. I didn't have anything. Boy, oh boy, do I love food. But guess what? I don't like making it. 
And that's why there's this lovely thing called DoorDash. DoorDash connects you to your favorite restaurants in your city. Ordering is easy. All you gotta do is open the DoorDash app, choose what you wanna eat, and your food will be delivered to you wherever you are. And not only is your favorite pizza place already on DoorDash, but there are also over 340,000 restaurants in 3,300 cities. So you might find a new favorite too. Guys, don't worry about dinner. Lit dinner come to you with DoorDash. And right now, our listeners can get $5 off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code SMOSH. That's $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app from the App Store and enter promo code SMOSH. And don't forget, that's promo code SMOSH for $5 off your first order from DoorDash. I actually have a bad history with desks and moving them. Uh oh. So you guys better watch out. As soon as you have desks, oh, they're going to be in random corners. I loved back then when we had desks and we didn't do anything. No. Nobody needed a desk because nobody did any work. Yeah. <laughs> we were just hanging out. <laughs> I didn't even have a desk at one point. I was like working on working out of at, vanity. Yeah, the, yeah vanity. Mm. I wonder if people thought that was weird. I'm just like not even looking at my computer. I'm just looking at myself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I'll be. I think it'll be okay. I think you'll the be desks? okay. Yeah, about the desks. I think it's great. I yeah. think because we'll we'll have our own spaces, you know. And I do think that yeah. was, for me, You're I like that. are a little that. isolated. Because I yeah. very much so. It'll be fun though. We'll still make TikToks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And we're literally gonna be next to each other out there. That's the problem. Yeah. I wanted to be further away from you guys. Yeah, I know. I wanted to be on the mythical I would love side that. of the office. I would love that. Please, please. I wanted I to work from the Defy office. Yeah. Just in the, <laughs> the, the middle. The abandoned concrete. The Sweet, this is nice. Burned out insides of the Defy office. Hey, we're, we're doing the pod in an hour. I'll be, okay, yeah, I'll drive from Beverly Hills. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. That's what I do not yeah. miss. Oh, my God. That drive killed me. No, thank you, sir. Um, all right, so yeah, we just had the craziest try not to laugh, like smosh pit shoot, smosh oh, yeah. game shoot we've ever done. 24 videos in 24 five days? 24 videos in five days. Plus podcast? Plus podcast, so Insane. 24 plus. That's, uh, but like That's for how, for on paper how crazy it sounds, we did okay. Like I felt like I didn't feel as dead and delirious as I thought I would. My energy was pretty damn good yeah. too. Yeah, and we, we're doing this in preparation for tour and stuff and all the, yeah. the traveling we're going to be doing. And we do, like it's not, a, it's not like something we really try to hide. Like we shoot multiple videos in a day and then we release them when they need to come out. But uh, this was the most we unscripted content we'd shot. By far, including having some guests on Try Not to Laugh. Yeah. Which was, we had some had YouTubers on, we had some actors on. Yeah, some big some, names. Yeah, we're excited. That, that Try Not to Laugh that came out, we shot with Thomas Lennon and mm -hmm. Jack, what's his last name? I'm Jack told, Robbins. Jack Robbins. Robbins. That, that one was shot this this last week. Quick turnaround. From that. when we were recording yeah, that. Really yeah, quick turnaround. Was, yeah, that was, that was a really cool experience. Like, I, I watched a lot of Reno 911. Well, mm -hmm. kind of. My goal is to work with every single one of them. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Wendy, exactly. Young, Goldberg, right on the list. Nice. Yes. Thomas Lennon. Nice. Gotta, gotta nice. work with all of them. That's my goal. It's nice. crazy, like, meeting these people in person after seeing so much of mm -hmm. them on a screen acting a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, it, always, it also, like... It makes me wonder, like, who I would and wouldn't want to have on the on the Try Not to Laughs because it's like you're meeting your idols, so your idea of them is either going to be made even more great or mm. just shattered completely, or, or you never know. Yeah, because so, like, we've had we've yeah. had guests in the past, and no no one's ever been a jerk. No, no. one's ever been bad, no. but we've definitely gotten people who just don't know much about the YouTube world and are kind of like, they come into it and they're just like, what is this? What are we doing? You know, and it's like- Like, are you, know you guys a comedy is? trooper? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I think it is, is like when someone is a bigger name actor like that, they do these kinds of things as like part of a press circuit usually. Mm -hmm. So it is a very like, it's not cold, but it's professional. Like they show up and it's like, all right, so what are we doing? And you know, any other show would be like, all right, we're gonna interview you for 10 minutes. Then we're gonna have one segment where a caller calls in and gets to ask you a question, then we're done. Mm -hmm. They're like, great. So this is so much more involved than that average everyday interview. It's like yeah. a Jimmy Fallon kind of deal, but maybe even yeah. a little more. It like, is a little Do you wanna it's play a game with right. us for an hour? Think it's of some like, bits. Yeah, well yeah. even even like bigger YouTubers too. Yeah. Like, like we have, we I don't know when the other one's gonna come out with the other guests, but it's like it's also people that you've been just watching their videos for a long time, yeah. and then you're getting to meet them in person. So mm -hmm. it's like, 
Like I, if like say we, well, it's like because we we talked about this earlier. Like if we were to get Dwayne the Rock Johnson, obviously we'd want to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, are you kidding? It's him. Yeah. But it's like then we're meeting our idol. Like, are we are we shattering this vision, this idea of this person? Well, it's it, a double... it does happen, man. Yeah, yeah, it does happen. It's a double challenge for us too, because that happens to everybody. But now it's like we are working with them too, mm-hmm. so you have that sort of twist on what you're expecting, and you have to put out something good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... yeah, it can be weird. Yeah. They're all they're all just people. Like, I, you, yeah, you, it doesn't hit you until you're there, and you're like, oh, you're just a you're just a person. Mm-hmm. Like every single one of them. Or like a busy you know, person. the 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 star aspect of them is a marketed commercial thing that a team of people mm-hmm. has created for the screen. Mm-hmm. Then yeah. when you meet them in person, you're like, oh, you're a regular person. Mm-hmm. You're not a superhuman like you are made to look like mm-hmm. on on camera. And that's the case for so many mm-hmm. actors. Except for The actresses. Rock, who is actually just a superhuman. I wonder if he would make you, you laugh. Do you think Dwayne The Rock Johnson would make you laugh? I, think so. I would laugh out of fear. <laughs> I, think, I think because he was a wrestler, I think he would bring great energy to it. Because when we brought the WWE wrestlers, they they were just so into it. Because they were just like, yeah, let's just go. They were that let's was a commit. really funny episode. Like they were just very committed and excited. You know? Did yeah. I ever tell you my friend's The Rock story? No. It's it's my friend's story, so take it or leave it. I didn't happen to me, but he lived in a very very wealthy part of California. And he said that like one day in his backyard sort of has like a cliff going up, like his neighborhood is like very hilly. So uh, but this backyard is like a cliff face or whatever. Mm-hmm. So um, he said he like came outside one day and just heard like, he is what the rock is cooking. And he was like, what? And he like kept going closer to the sound and it gets louder and louder and like all these different inflections of, can you smell what the rock is cooking or whatever. And he looks up on the cliff and it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson practicing his catchphrase out on top of a cliff to the world. Wow. And he's like, oh, I live in this very wealthy part of California. That my neighbor is the rock. Oh. That's hilarious. Um, oh my goodness. Was he naked? I don't know. Sure. Imagine. Yes. For the sake of the story, yes. And again, happened to my friend. I don't think he would ever lie, but you don't. I don't but, know. But you also brought up a good point, though. Like a lot of times when you meet these big big actors or musicians or whatever they're constantly so busy they're also constantly dealing with every person being like oh my god are you that guy mm-hmm. oh my god and like they just mm-hmm. uh, it's on re- so it's like a broken record every day so you meet them and they're just kind of just like tired mm-hmm. so they're not being a jerk they're just tired yeah yeah that's a lot that has been the case i've yeah. definitely definitely dealt with celebrities where i was like oh well, they're a jerk and i'm like no looking at this situation i think they're probably just extremely tired it was a there was a tweet going around like months back of like rami malik uh who's like mr robot um signing all these things in the middle of the street and he definitely seems tired and then as he's signing something for someone they're like hey can i get you on video saying hello to tessa for her 29th birthday or something like that he's like no no but i can definitely take a picture with you and then she was like oh yeah okay and all the comments were like what a jerk not yeah. doing that video but and i'm like come on yeah. man like maybe he's busy yeah. and you're asking for like three different things like yeah. that's that's his day all day every day yeah. there was video of like harry styles he was like in some random town and these girls were like you're rich like we traveled this far to come see you you deserve we needed a picture with you and you could just see this defeated look on harry styles face and you're like that did it but it's like that's so sad that's mm-hmm. like yeah, that they are just people that entitlement nobody owes you anything if you yeah. paid a certain amount of money to see a show the thing you got in exchange for that money was the, the show so, like so yeah in the, in the yeah. creator viewer relationship neither owes anybody anything mm-hmm. like as a creator I want to create because I feel good doing it mm-hmm. like making my own YouTube videos on my own channel I love editing like that's my favorite yeah. part of all of it and then I'm obviously like if I'm making something funny then it's like yes I'm doing this because I'm, I'm spreading what I think is funny I'm spreading joy or whatever and if people like it that's awesome then I gave them that joy and they can feel that joy and like that's kind of the transaction yeah totally that's, that's and then if they yeah. if they want to leave a comment or like that is totally like you have the keyboard not me like yeah. I'm not trying to we're definitely in an era where it, it's kind of like the world is readjusting and figuring that out because there's like Marilyn Monroe, she was the most famous person of her time, and she was the first person to ever be that famous. And nowadays, you can know 10 famous people, and then a group of people would have no idea who they are because there's so many famous people in the world, 
like in a way that there makes really no is famous. a lot of famous mm-hmm. people yeah it's and it's weird. because it's because the internet, internet yeah and and there's just straight the population is bigger and there are more platforms to mm-hmm. become famous some more easily than others i.e tiktok somehow people <laughs> with zero talent have millions of followers and they have me having meet and greets and etc i like, wonder how many people on instagram have over a million followers I think a lot. Like it's, and it's a people lot you don't always people. expect. But sometimes I wonder, and this might bot. be too much people of a tangent. Buy. I think there's a lot of bots, especially oh, yeah. when they're like famous, famous people, because I'm like, yeah, I don't know if this person is truly the case or mm-hmm. not. But if like, say, for example, Joseph Gordon Levitt, mm-hmm. if you look at him, I'm assuming he has millions of followers. But I also know if you look at his posts and stuff like that on Twitter, he gets like 200 likes per post. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, so either you've bought your followers or you are so uninteresting that only point mm-hmm. zero zero maybe zero, I didn't do the math, two percent of people actually care what you say. And I think there's the third option because like we're now at an age where the internet has been around so long that there are old followers that like, like even Ian, we talk about it with, we talk about it with Ian all the time. He's like, he has the amount of followers he has, but it's like the likes don't correlate with that at all. And it's just because it's been a long time. But I don't understand that. Like who's no longer using Instagram? They're like, oh, I'm 25. I don't want to use Instagram anymore. Mm -hmm. It's more like, I think when people are like, I want to make 20 stan accounts. It's like Damien <laughs> Haas heart and I love Haas and Hauser one, two, three and all that stuff. That's the same person. So I think they just forget about those that 20 well. extra accounts that they made. And then the Instagram algorithm kind of is the nail in the coffin for creators in a way, mm. because if you aren't paying attention to someone's content for a while and you aren't liking or commenting their stuff, it just, goes away. It just straight up stops showing up yeah. in your feed. It happens to people all the time. Like I'm like, oh, uh, I yeah. follow you, but I haven't seen your stuff. Mm-hmm. And I go to the profile and they have 10 new posts I haven't seen. I'm like, you got married? Like, and then all of a sudden it's in your feed again once you visited their page. Yeah. It's all over the place. And when you follow someone, yep. they have four four posts in a row for mm-hmm. on your feed the next time you go to the homepage. It's... It's crazy. It's interesting. That's, I think that's why it's important to like, you know, I'm I'm on TikTok, but I have no posts or anything yet, but I still have a presence there. That's why it's important to diversify what you're on. Because if you are like, I don't care about Twitter, I don't care about YouTube, I'm a fully an Instagram creator. The second Instagram's algorithm works in a way that doesn't favor you, it's like mm-hmm. everything you've built is gone. That's the, also a struggle too is when there's so many platforms, am I supposed to be in YouTube YouTube video being like, hi, I'm Courtney, be sure to follow me on here, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter yep. and, and Reddit and, and <laughs> Discord and like all these things. And it's like, at that point, then what is the relationship with the viewer? Like, why am I giving you this responsibility to like, mm-hmm. I don't know, it's a lot. It's a lot, dude. I don't know how creators do it successfully in every it's platform. It's hard because for me, it's also about like authenticity. Like it's hard to sit mm-hmm. there and be like, I want you to follow me on this and this and this and this and this. It'd be cooler to say like, I would like to offer you something unique and cool if you go to this one where I can only offer you that thing there. Mm -hmm. But there's only so much that goes because you only have so much time in the day to make stuff. I remember when I was on Vine and like I I got to a point where I had a second Vine account Mm. that was called like, I think it was called Crotchney. (laughs) And um, it was for the stuff that I was like, I just want to post this because I like it. It's not funny. It's maybe artistic or whatever because Mm -hmm. I felt like pressure to keep the main account to be a specific type of content. Um, and I feel that I feel that with like every platform now. I mean, TikTok, I'm like, I don't even know what this is. So like mm. when I'm posting, on, I don't post on my own at all. I, I should more, but. I should too. I'm just um, nervous. What do you do? Like if you start doing one of those dance things is like, am I doing it ironically? Yeah. And now do people expect that? Do I, there's a lot of like anime weeb content. Do I start doing that? Yeah. Like, I don't want to just do everything. I don't know. I'm and sorry. I see a lot of people trying to do the ironic dancing and it doesn't play like it's not funny you're like "Mm." and now i've seen i'm seeing a lot of female creators that like i've known and kind of interacted with a lot for a while on twitter and stuff now they're starting to legitimately do the tiktok dances and i'm like oh you're there now yeah okay but hey you're you're diversifying what you're doing you're changing with the times i think what i like about our brand is what we take those things and we make them weird or we make them crazy we Mm -hmm. smoshify them in a way so like yeah like we talked about that one tiktok idea that i probably shouldn't i mean well we have done it by the time this podcast i guess we have to now yeah i guess we have to but yeah we're just taking one and changing the audio into a crazy voice oh that's right yeah got it yeah yeah we can do that let's do it let's do it let's commit three two Two, one believe in your your dreams dreams. believe in your dreams dreams. 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 believe in your streams do the fart sound effect do the fart sound effect (laughs) <laughs> that locks it in. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh my god. Make sure. your text tone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>
God, I wish I, I wish I had one prepared because <laughs> I wanted to do it over. It, <laughs> dude, I'm I'm gonna keep doing this. If I'll if, tell you why I'm I'm doing this is because <laughs> I need to find. I'm searching for the joke that'll make Gus Johnson laugh on Try Not to Laugh. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. Look, I know there. I I think he's coming. Like we're gonna have one with him soon. Gonna be coming out. And look, I'm gonna bring everything. Bring I got. everything you got. Mm. I don't think you can do it. I think it's just, nothing against you. I think you're funny as hell. I think Gus has a very powerful jaw. I think he's going to laugh, but no water will leave his face. Mm, we'll see. We will see. We'll I will see. defeat him. Mm. I believe in me. When I think about jokes, I, I will sit up at night thinking about what I could do to make Gus Johnson laugh. I put on fight song, mm. and I just sit there. <laughs> and I just think about what can I do to fight make song. this guy laugh. Um, nice. Yeah, my method's very different from you guys because I, 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 it's not that I plan it out entirely, but I think I'm like, what's, what's, fu-? like, I'll have a thought. I'm like, that's funny. All right, I'm gonna do that. And like, for instance, like sassy leg, uh, sassy leg infantry. Was it was so just good. earlier in the week. I was getting out of the shower and I just started like dancing around naked, and right. I was like, this is really silly. I was like, oh, I'll make a bit out of this. Okay. This is really silly. Were you in the mirror? How did you know it was silly? I, I just was, I saw myself like just moving my legs all silly and I was like, you know what? Sassy <laughs> legs. That's funny. Sassy I'll do legs that. infantry is genius. I can't, I can't do that. Behind enemy lines. What? Look in the mirror? Yeah, ever. <laughs> no, it's Vampire. like if I, things for me are like so in the moment that like if I, if I were to like even, sometimes I'll come in with like a one word thought for myself where I'm like, this word reminds me of something I said to Shane that make him laugh once and I'll like write that down on my phone. But like, I can't make things funny if I'm like, oh, I could build a character out of this throughout the week. Because when I get up there, I get so nervous that I'm like trying to get into that moment of like explaining the character within a second. I overdo it and I just, mm. it doesn't, Yeah, I can't make it funny. The the. Like, I feel like whenever we're in situations where we're coming up with stuff on the fly, that's when I'm like, I'm laughing so hard at what you're saying. And I don't I don't feel like I contribute as much in those situations. But with Try Not to Laugh, when it's like, okay, if I can plan just like, even if it's just like five minutes, Mm -hmm. then I can think of something really funny. But I do need to say, I, and you notice it, people probably notice it in videos. Like when I say jokes, it's never just like, it's rarely on the fly. I'll be sitting there. You'll see me kind of smirk to myself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I say, it's like, it just takes a second mm-hmm. for me to, you know, I'm a yeah. slow cooker. Are we yeah. okay talking about this, by the way? Sorry. I know it's oh, sort of yes. calling out like sometimes. No, no. There's planned. I, no, there's a lot there. I, I won't say which ones are planned and which ones aren't. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's not planned like, no. okay, we all talked beforehand. It's like, some, there's just times yeah. where I come in and I'm like, okay, I got something that I know is going to make yeah. Damien laugh. We'll like record something on our phone like shortly before. Right. Or, like I'll, I have a li- yeah. I have a notepad if I think of something. Like the how I came up with boneless was one sound that I thought was funny, and it was uh, it was yeah yeah da 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 da. And yeah. that was that was the voice, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to use that voice, and I can de- became the name. I can definitely do stuff like that. Yeah. Like in my phone on that notes page, I had like the word bases ball written down, and it was like, I bet Shane will laugh at bases, bases ball. ball. And then I saw like the costume backstage, and I was like, oh, I can totally put this together and be like, ooh, bases ball. It's that kind of stuff. Or I'll write like poetry, and I'll be like, oh, that's right, I could say yeah. a poem, and then I'll put on the hat, and I'll be like, I'm the booger man, and then say a poem. The first it. duel was like, I think it was the most proud I was of my brain on the fly because that's where goth horse girl oh, I like and that. Gemini funny. Hogwarts student, yes. nice. those, I was like, I'm kind of a legend. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, trust that. I don't know, I just Sorry, trust just, it. That was quoting that's a weird insight quoting joke. quoting a shame from a party. Yeah. What was it? God, what it was, was we that? Were, where were we? we were, it was something, we were, at the, we were at a barcade. Yeah. And there was something like, you were talking about like an arcade just, thing. No, I was like, because we had had a couple of drinks and I like was like, yeah, I'm not feeling anything. And they're like, wow, yeah, you don't really seem to like feel alcohol that much. And I was like, yeah, I'm kind of a legend. And then Yasmin, <laughs> uh, one of our set uh, designers was like, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, yeah, you're drunk. Wait, was this my birthday? <laughs> I think it was at your birthday. birthday. Yeah, it was definitely at that. Um, you were nearby? And I don't think. Place, but only people I don't think because I didn't get to make it to your birthday, but it was a work event okay. that everyone was there. Yeah, it was that one, but it was oh, at the same time. I didn't get gotta, to gotta, make gotta, it gotta, to gotta, that yeah. one. No, it's a, um, no, I already knew where our friendship lied. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so. fake. Mm-hmm. Girl, you're faker than veneers. Ooh. Anybody here have veneers? Called out. <laughs> Called out. One time I was at a dentist's office and Prove it. I was just there to like fix a chipped tooth and like get a cleaning. And he was like looking at me and my teeth and he was like, 
ah, you'll get veneers. It's fine. And I was like, oh, oh. he was I trying was like, to like. I like my teeth. Insult good, sir. you into buying expensive crap. I don't that know. You don't need. It's yeah, get rid of these. Yeah. You don't need these ones. And Pop then, them on out. And then when he fixed the chip tooth, that it broke when I got home. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to this dentist. Yeah, a piece again. of crap. I hate that. <laughs> Yeah, don't insult. Like, I've had doctors insult my body multiple Jesus. times. Remember I told you, okay, so remember I told you guys about the, the how I had to get a steroid shot? Mm-hmm. And the doctor was like, you got no ass. And I was like, what? Uh, oh, my that's, God. Uh, that's probably a lawsuit. Yeah. No, you, I don't know. People suck. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Most people just suck. Oh, no. Did I cancel a doctor? No, you're fine. <laughs> Speaking of cancel. Oh, yeah. Do we want to do cancel a week, Shane? You got something? You got to cancel so, the week? So Ian pitched this idea called cancel of the week, where we cancel something, something that's that's just gone too far. We're done with it. We're canceling it. Mm. Uh, for instance, for me, you know what I'm canceling? Like, I'm trying to cancel it. The second alarm I set in the morning, Ooh. I set two alarms, right? Or I set sometimes two or three. Uh, I set the first one. It's like, that's like me waking up. Second one is there as a backup in case I don't get up and I fall back asleep. The problem, why it's getting canceled is because it decides perfectly, not n- not my plan, not my fault. It decides to go off perfectly once I've gotten in the shower. Yep. And then it's across the room, and I have to dance naked, cold, at 5 a.m. to my – and shut off my second alarm. God, 5 a.m. Yeah. You know, that's why I like Alexa, because, like, if I hear that second alarm going off and I go – I just go, Alexa, stop! And then it stops, and I don't have to even get out of the shower mm. and do sassy leg infantry. I just, mm. I just keep on going. Smart. You should utilize your Alexa. You kind of just have her in a corner and aren't really talking to her. I never use Alexa. Really? I never. Well, she use listens I use to you her. quite a bit. But this is my iPhone. That's oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I just keep, I keep mine by the bed, and like, mm. uh, I've caught myself like treating her too much like a human. Where, like, the alarm will go off and I'll be like, sorry for the people who have Alexas, by the way, if I'm yeah. setting it off. Also, change its name so this never becomes an issue yeah. again. That's what I did. I was like, Alexa, five more minutes. She's like, I'm sorry. I don't understand. I was like, damn it, you're not my mom. <laughs> well, you can say Alexa snooze five minutes. Oh, well, yeah, I say wake me up in 10 minutes or wake me up in 30. Mm. I'm actually September very polite ends. to my uh, to my Alexa. Okay. I'm always like, I always say thank you because I know yeah. it's listening. Mine's rude. And uh, I'll, I'll add some sentence structure. You where know I've Jeff got my... Bezos is listening. Yeah. He is. And just rock hard. I'm all about that face. <laughs> just so yes. rock hard on yes. the other end. Um, but no, no, I'm very polite to my – because when the robots uprise, I want them to know I'm one of the good ones. Um, I want them to know not to mess with me because mm. my girl, she doesn't listen to me sometimes. I actually had this really cool setup. I have like a, a, a space heater in my room and I hooked it up to a Wi-Fi plug. Mm-hmm. And it was dope because I connected to Alexa and I could tell her to turn it on and off mm-hmm. so I didn't have to get out of bed or I can do it from when I'm not home and I want my bedroom to be warm. But then all of a sudden the plug started having a mind of its own. So I would tell her to turn it off and she'd do the little doo doo to show me she did it. And, it and it was not off. Uh-oh. Fire hazard, baby. Uh-oh. So that's not a thing anymore. Yeah. Don't trust her. I have it hooked up to my ceiling fan lights, and I have it hooked up to nice. my uh, Roomba style vacuum. Oh, cool! So I'm just like, uh, but the, but that one you can't be polite with. I'm gonna be like, I, if I'm like Alexa, sweep the floor. It's like I'm sorry, I'm dumb as hell. And then I go like, <laughs> okay, Alexa, ask Dbot to sweep floor. Ba-ding. Yeah. And then, so and then it gets caught Weird. on my sofa. It's like, can and you it can you ask him? Yeah. You can ask Alexa, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, kill Felicia Alexa, Rashad. <laughs> Alexa, end it all. <laughs> nice. And nice. but like honestly, you don't really need one. I mean, obviously not. But once you get one, you're like. This helps me a lot. It's, it's barely convenient. The The vacuum thing is terrible. I would say the, the the lights are the best thing for me so I don't have to get up in the middle of the night. But I also say Alexa lights green while I'm gaming so my room is yeah. green. And I match it to whatever game I'm I playing. I think part of the stuff. reason I don't use mine is because my apartment's very small. It's not like I don't have to walk that far to do anything. True. But you do have to walk. I like it. I, I mean. need those sassy a li- a nice legs. nice little stroll. Mm, Gotta use those sassy my legs. tiny little place mm. are you gonna be there long yeah. are you moving maybe <gasps> really i might move this year i don't know no way i don't know That's i, I kind of want a bigger space i kind of want uh i really want s- like a patio i want like something outside nice, nice. i'd like that jinx 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 <laughs> hey shane what's up how would you like it if i kicked out my roommate and you became my roommate <laughs> yeah, well, would you guys live together again if that was a thing that came to I life? tried for years, and Shane just always has excuses. Maybe. Ooh. I don't know. It's like I can 
I like having my own space. I do. I, I definitely love being alone. <laughs> but seeing our crew, like like Taylor and Brennan and Billy and all them, how they have this gorgeous house. It's mm-hmm. all lit. And they live together. And it looks like just the they – they're so cool. It makes me miss having roommates when I when I was living with my Vine it's friends. It's definitely fun. But I've definitely gotten, gotten accustomed to living by myself. Mm-hmm. I – yeah. Because, like – Listen, the time between getting out of the shower and putting clothes on gets longer and longer every time. And I don't want to deal with anybody seeing that. And yet you were going to adopt cats. <laughs> <laughs> they stare. They do. I just I get to do whatever I want. I can make coffee in just a jock strap. And her other roommates Come would just on. slap the coffee dude, out of her hands. If I was a dude, those would be hands. so funny. Jock straps are not comfortable. Nobody really wants Nobody to do that. Nobody likes jock straps. No. They're un- <laughs> very uncomfortable. They're they just, hurt. They're just man thongs, right? No, because they've no, got a cup on them. No, they're different. They're different. And, and the cup not, You have to put the cup they don't, in the jock strap. They don't cover the, the buttocks either. Yeah, they don't. Whoa, it's like a backpack, but it's front? It's not comfortable. <laughs> yeah. It, essentially, yeah. 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 It's not comfortable. It sucks. You guys should try it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Host of the podcast, Are you guys. Okay? That's me. Maybe I shouldn't be alone. Guys, we need a wellness check on Courtney. <laughs> guys, uh, is Courtney okay? <laughs> Don't Comment down on. below if we should be concerned. Come on. Come on. Oh. Why can't I make naked jokes? Because it's uncomfortable. Because everybody's nudity should be... Uh, bodies are gross and He's should be ashamed He's playing of. his farts on the f- microphone, dude. Uh, yeah. Girls, why can't we be funny? Girls why are can't, funny, why but naked bodies are disgusting. Why can't you just laugh at us being naked? Naked bodies are disgusting. All humans should be ashamed of themselves yeah, and each also, other. Also, you can't make coffee while wearing a jock strap. That that messes up the aromas. You, you, gotta, get, <laughs> you, get, you get burned. You get burned. On, on your peepers. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Burned on your peepers. Kevin looks so uncomfortable right now. Kevin, does the word peepers make Come you feel on. uncomfortable? Come no, on. Laugh. It, that's not it Is it about being peepers? Yeah. Shut up. Laugh. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait. Was there any other cancels that you wanted to talk about? Yeah. What are you guys canceling? Mm. I'm gonna cancel uh, Karens or just Karen videos. Oh. I get so much anxiety from watching those videos of like, I didn't ask for the coffee like that. Where is your manager? And there's so many of them, like especially the real on ones? like, I don't know if they're real or staged, but it doesn't matter. It hits me the same. Mm. I can't see them anymore. And it's just swiping through TikTok. All of a sudden, it's just like, yes, this has coffee in it, and I can't have that. Do you know what that means? Do you know? Excuse me. Do you know what that means? I'm like, I can't. Yeah. It just hits me so hard because I used to work in retail, and I just know that I also didn't even see half of the worst of it. Like. I can't do it. it so feel, no more Karen it, it videos. It feels like the internet's like this is gonna sound so obvious, but it feels like the internet's super, super negative right now. In that those types of videos are the only things that are ever trending right because now. Because it makes everyone feel so good. It makes us feel something. It makes everybody feel it, so good. It's just a lot of just really bad, like just people being awful. Yeah. Like those yeah, are the things right. that's like, hey everyone, watch this person being awful. It's like, why are we always? Just... I think th- I think what I want to can- cancel on TikTok is these videos where girls are like this is me catching my toxic friend on camera. And it's like the worst acting where you just see the girl being like, okay, but I, I wanted to wear red to the party tonight. And the girl's like, okay, well, I'm wearing pink. And I know like you've always like tried to live in like my shadow, uh, like because in yeah. all our lives and we've been friends, like you can't do that. And, and then you're just like, mm. there's all these kids that are believing this is real. And I'm like, you guys don't know what acting is. It's the top comments are like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. And then the one after that is like people who think this is real and then three clown emojis. Yeah. And I'm like, that's the one I, you know. Yeah. It's the same kind of a thing where like, it'll be two people looking at the camera and then it'll hear like, I know you cheated on me with Brad or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then the one, again, bad acting like, wait, what? And it's just like caught her on camera. But also at the same time, that is another example of like, it's teenagers and they really want to do something scandalous and they haven't learned yet. I did notice an influx of videos too. Sorry, I'm just talking, talking, talking. I did notice an influx of videos on TikTok where I'm like, "It's, it's younger people who haven't made anything yet. So that's where it's coming from. But like you'll watch the whole video and not be entirely sure what they were even trying to do. Like it's shot really well. Like it'll be like a scary video. It'll be like, I found this thing in my basement. But there won't be enough parts of traditional story structure for you to be like, I'm not even sure what you were trying to make me think was mm-hmm. in the basement, you know? But it yeah, shot like, so what's well. What's in the sky? What's in the sky? And Exa- it's like not exactly. even anything's happening in the sky. 
and they're like like for part two like for, so they have like a lot of like comes. they have like a lot of raw talent and and how to get you to see things and look at things but they don't know story structure so yeah. you're just left there like how interesting to see a teenager be able to publish this and see you know you wouldn't normally mm-hmm. see that it's like the videos you make at home with your friends. This is the kid. stuff that makes me really excited to like if I could be eventually a film high school film teacher oh. because I like I would hope that like those kids will be like well, maybe I could do film and then they come in and they can actually learn like what that's like or like put the talents that they have to actual use. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. I don't know. Movies aren't going to exist in 10 years. That's true. Probably not. It's, it's going to be, be VR. Just going to be VR. It's going to be Shane recording. I am Spider Man. Yeah. I'm Spider Man. It's going to be this in 10 years. It's just going to only be. That's it. Kevin seems so disappointed every time that happens. Is there? Are you gonna have to bleep that out every time, Kevin? No, it's just. I'm Do we have, have to, to listen to this while I edit this? Right. Over, over right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have know. to cut out me talking about being naked? No. We're gonna have to cut this whole podcast. Cut- it's not fair that Tyler Phillips can come out with no shirt on and, and people are like, ha, 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 ha. but if I did, then there's a Reddit page. I want you to cut out everything except my, my farts. Can we get a hypercut of Shane's fart? Sure. Well, boys, how are you guys feeling? How did we do? Uh, you know. Tommy hurts. I feel really good. Um, you I'm, know, I feel like I made a lot of great content that I've shown you guys today. Uh, I'll keep trying to make content like that. You know, keep keep really working on my art is, is the big I think big you forgot thing. a letter on that word. Nice. Who arted, am I right? That's so funny. Who arted? Legend. <laughs> Legend over here. Thanks, gang. And thank you guys for listening and watching this podcast. Uh, we casted this pod. We sure did. Two boys both wearing the same yellow shirt. That's yep. what we this planned was. It. Um, if you guys want to keep listening or keep watching, we have uh, the audio episodes that come out every Wednesday, and then the full video episodes come out on the Smoshcast channel every Friday. So subscribe to whichever one. Give us a rating, too. Rate Shane's art. Yeah, please, rate please my make it a five-star. It really helps us. It really helps. Yeah. And like we said, there between this, us as creators and the viewers, there is we don't owe each other anything. But we're happy to give you the content that we give and whatever you guys want to give to us. Hey, that's sweet too. Unless we it's love you. Hepatitis. Please yeah. Don't please don't give us hepatitis. Bye. Bye. Bye.